to know that COVID started when I was in eighth grade. The same time when I saw seniors like Gabriel Saldivar and Pablo Bea doing their senior speech. Listening to those seniors I looked up to, I thought to myself, I still got five more years of high school until I'm one of them. I'm here to tell you that even though it was five years since that day, it fell faster. Hello friends, my name is John Luca, and I'm here to tell you about high school. I used to think life was a straight line upwards, but I was wrong. Life looks like the S&P 500, basically saying it looks like the economy. Change time and so many circumstances creates those ups and downs. Although your life may look like an upwards trend, one can never predict what will happen next. Freshman, freshman and sophomore year flew so fast that I did not feel present. I felt like I was just there, not really thinking or doing anything important. It wasn't until my junior year when my whole life changed. Going back back to the economic parallel, this is equivalent to the biggest recession yet in my life. I lost friends. Friends stopped doing what I loved the most and a huge change in my own family. These circumstances really sucked. On top of the stress of the real life events, academically, junior year was bringing me further down. Find something you enjoy. This piece of advice helped me get out of my circumstance. This was a solution that helped me survive high school. For me, it was finding passions like reading books, working out, learning about the world. Yes, you have school, your friends, and your family, but doing something you really enjoy will make a safety net in case all else fails. It wasn't until I started hitting no new goals, reading about the world, and stop looking for, at others for acceptance that I really started to find myself, the Gianluca that is standing in front of you. This gave me time to be alone and find a relationship with God. Another reason it is important to stick to something you enjoy is that it gives you confidence. My whole life, that inner voice in me always thought of myself as a loser and so until I started winning. Change can be difficult to go through. Difficult because you don't know when or what change is going to come. In life, change taught me to embrace new opportunities with responsibilities. Responsibilities I would have ne never known I was capable of. I went from biking to the gym every morning at 5 a.m. as a freshman to starting a proprietorship as a sophomore. From investing heavily on assets that everyone considered worthless to getting a huge return on, on these investments. Change made my life easier because I embraced it with opportunity. I love statistics. As I'm reading this very speech, it has been 117,050,000 seconds since I entered the high school building as a freshman on the 12th of August of 2020. I remember that day very well because it was my birthday. This is a countdown the eighth graders will have in a few months. Trust me, time flies. Don't wait to ask that girl to prom or join the football team or start a new job at the place you wanted to work at. Time will run out and you will be a senior like me. My biggest regret in high school is not having more time to be with, the fr with my friends and do more adventurous stuff. In all seriousness, you have to enjoy your years here. I could talk for another 10 minutes, but not to keep y'all waiting, I will give you one more piece of advice. The serenity prayer states, God grant me the serenity to accept the things I cannot change the courage to change the things I can, and the wisdom to know the difference. Change, time, and people will not be in your favor, no matter what. 
The only thing you can control is attitude towards life. I would like to thank my mom and dad for giving me so many blessings in life. Starting with my education and the basic amenities of, of life, as well as the countless lessons they have provided me. My sisters who comfort me in turbulent times. My friends who I, who I always share laughs with. And it's all of our family who have been my, my home away from home. Last but not least, I would like to thank God for all the wonders he has worked in my life. Wouldn't be here if it weren't for him.